Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review The Zone of Interest. And this film is a haunting, haunting look at a Nazi family living right next to Auschwitz, and the husband played by Christian Freidel as Rudolf Haas, who is the commandant of Auschwitz, and their regular lives that they live complacently next to the horrific things happening at Auschwitz. And this is a bold, this is a bold film. And Glazer adapted this from Martin Amis's novel. And this is a harrowing and disturbing and unnerving experience as this film takes a look at this family just living its life and the sound design in this film is impeccable because you just hear dogs barking, trains coming, bullets firing, screams, and all of these things, just ambient noise in the back as you just feel this horrificness going on all around them. And they're just, you know, eating breakfast, tending the garden, being just so-called regular people just allowing all these horrific things to be going on. The sound design, the music from Micah Levi is just haunting and unnerving. There's so many incredible visuals from Lucas Zoll, who gives this as a cinematographer such a Kubrick feel. The symmetry, the coldness, the distance. And Sandra Huller, who plays Hedwig, the wife of this family is absolutely incredible in the way that she is so cold and despicably just horrible person who's threatening her. She's fully aware of what her husband does, fully aware of the consequences that she threatens upon her staff for not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And she tries on this fur coat where she knows exactly where it came from, trying on the lipstick in the pocket, knowing exactly who had put that lipstick on and where they are now. It is disgusting watching this film. It's like not only Kubrick in its look, it feels like you're transported into a Clockwork Orange and you're just sitting there forced to look upon the most awful people who are just you know, following orders or just complacently living their lives because that's just the way it is and that's the, the Jewish people's lot in life is to be on the other side of that fence. And this is a horrifically unnerving experience all the way up to just the way that the Commandant speaks of trying to perfect the efficiency of the gas chambers and just the way that this film is so unrelenting in the way that it just penetrates you. This film is an experience. Not many people, I think, will be able to handle sitting through this, but this is an important film that really puts a mirror back on us and the world as there's a lot of atrocities going on and are there certain things that we're allowing to just happen or just go along with? And this film really points that mirror at you and is like, are you one of those people? It's just so impactful and such an incredible cinematic experience if you get a chance to check this out and can handle it it's one of those kinds of films that will be sitting and lasting with you for a long time but those are my thoughts on the zone of interest let me know what you think and let's talk some movies but thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your wasteland reviewer